looking at the distance between two points here. So between 5, 1 and 10, 13. And what I want to do is draw a right angle triangle between these two points. So I'm going to draw it there and there. That's just a rough little right angle triangle. And then we're going to mark on there the distance from here to here. Now, if we've got a coordinate group, we could just count the squares. One, two, three, four, five. However, that's not always possible. So another way to do it is to take the X number, which is 10, and take away the five to give me five. And then with the Y, the one going up, again, we could count the squares, but there's too many here to count. So I'm going to do 13, take away one, giving me 12. Now, once I've done that, this is all about Pythagoras. So I'm now going to do five squared, Add 12 squared and square root the answer. And that's going to give me the distance. Let's put D for distance. And we can check that out. That gives me 169. And if I square root it, we get 13. So that's just Pythagoras' theorem. So this comes in handy if we have something like this, where we haven't got a coordinate grid, we can't count our squares. So we're going to draw a line as usual just here and we're going to do one here I'm going to do what we did a minute ago we're going to do this number here take away this number here now 12 take away minus 3 ends up being 15 so I've got 15 on the x axis and I'm going to do the same with the 9 so the x just the x really will power up the x 9 take away 1 is 8 and what I can do is 15 squared, add 8 squared, and then square root it. Again, you can check this. I've just done this one on my calculator. If I square root that answer there, I will get 17. So that distance is 17. Now, you may see a rather complicated formula. So you may see this one labeled as x2 and x, sorry, and y1 y2 even, and this one as x1 and y1. And you may see a formula which says, I'm going to do the second x number, remember that was 12, and I'm going to take, I'm going to take away the first x number, which was x1, and then I'm going to square it. And that's exactly what we did. We did 12, take away negative 3. And then I'm going to do the same with the y. So I'm going to take the second y number, just like I did 9, and take away the first y number, which was 1, which gave me the 8. And I'm going to square that. And then I'm going to square root everything to get that distance. And that's sometimes seen as the distance formula. And it looks complicated, but it's kind of what you've already been doing anyway.